I still think about uh, the book I read a few months back called Northwest Passage, where they t the guy, um, uh, Rogers Rangers, I think it was Major Rogers, described uh, the Northwest heading heading towards the Northwest is actually describing more the Midwest in the US and how it was untouched and very beautiful and what really stood out to me uh, in his description was how he said that he saw a hillside covered in copper well that's unheard of today because the mining industries have taken care of every visual of that and we I've never seen any paintings or drawings or sketches of of such a thing it sounds beautiful a hillside covered in copper I think he described it how it like uh, it uh, went into the pond or went into a lake like it, it was a hillside that, that touched the lake <clears throat> but I mean it, it, it is believable because of uh, some some uh, things going on today like uh, there are still uh, gem and mineral societies finding copper out in nature that's untouched. A few years ago I went to a little gem and mineral thing uh, because I was interested in uh, quartz and uh, how quartz has healing properties and stuff. But I talked to a guy who is a copper hunter and he found a three or four pound piece of copper in northern Michigan. Uh, this this uh, is like an untouched part of northern Michigan. It's a very, it's like the V corner in the, in the very northern region. Um, and he said it was just sitting on a hill or something. Very, he just, he didn't have to dig. He just had to like walk up on, onto the hill or something and, and then he saw the piece. And he was an older man. He didn't have to do much physical labor, and maybe he didn't even have to walk very far, but he got that copper. And that's a three or four piece uh, in the 2000s, okay? Uh, we've, I mean, y you know, my personality is I love getting out there and looking around, scavenging, and seeing what resources are available. I know there's nothing. <laughs> there's, I know that. Um, my ancestors have had a big head start. I and I've and for copper in, in specific, I've I've seen pictures of wheelbarrows full of copper, uh, like l being loaded up on ships, with with just with just rows and rows of copper in the background of this picture. They were just loading up these copper bars already smelted. And, and being shipped out somewhere <clears throat> and it was an actual picture uh, from a photography professional um, being, and it was just being loaded up so I, I know that there's people that have, that have gone out there and scavenged it and the, the only real work they had to do was was travel like me just get out there and look for it and many times you'll find it on the surface just as is described uh, for this uh, this book, which the time frame of the book was the mid 1700s, where he would find a hillside covered in copper. Well, um, that's that's very believable to me. The resources that were available. So I mean, there is just no doubt uh, how uh, we have changed the landscape of of uh, of nature. Even in national parks, um, anywhere, these these uh, these precious minerals that really served a, uh, a good benefit for the uh, vegetation around it have have been dug up and smelted and 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 uh, hoarded by many rich people. What what have we got left to um, to harvest? There is nothing. There's absolutely nothing. The frontier was declared closed in the 1890s. I think it's 1892, and everybody has laid claim to every inch of the earth. Um, 
So when I get out there and travel, I know I'm not going to find anything of, of great value. Pretty much just taking a video of what I see is, is about the only enjoyment I can get. Um, uh, yeah, it's interesting.